On this episode of Eat Sleep Explore, I try and learn how to ski, rather unsuccessfully. Oh shit! Oh shit! Chicken noodle soup crock pot cooking in the van and some epic views at Mammoth Mountain. What's up everybody? Starting you off on this episode at Mammoth. We're just gonna skip the whole drive thing because you guys are probably tired of me driving. Anyway, uh, you'll notice maybe something different this time. I'm on skis, and this is literally the first time I've ever been on skis. I've snowboarded on and off all my life and enjoyed it, but I don't know, it seems like something to do. <laughs> you guys will see firsthand uh, me failing, but it should be pretty fun. All right, well, I got on the lift. That is a good start. This feels so weird to have skis on my feet. But yeah, I got here just about like 3.30. I'm getting on the lift at four. And I'm pretty sure the lift stops running at 4.30. So I will get one run in. Eagle Lodge, green. Uh-oh, I'm already going too fast. This is bad. This is bad. Oh. I should probably ease into this, but I'm too dumb. It's supposed to wedge or something. There we go. There's a wedge. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is it so hard to stop? This is silly. Oh shit. This is bad. This is bad. Ugh. Hey, once you get going downhill, it's really hard to stop. Well, now I'm in a pickle. Yeah, we're just gonna get out of our butts over here. It's not very dignified. Oh. All right, now how the f do you get up? I didn't even think about the getting up part. Oh, f all right. Wow, it's so much harder than it looks. Let's start a little slower. <laughs> I started bonsai. It really wasn't a bonsai, but man, I mean, it's like really icy. Which is why I'll blame my first failure. I watched a video online and they said to wedge, learn how to wedge. It's like I'm trying to wedge, but I'm not doing it very successfully. Pizza, pizza. Hey, it's a pizza, pizza. It's just. Just do this. Uh oh, we're going too fast again. Oh shit. Oh, it's not going well. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I lost a pole. I need to get my pole. Right back to where I started. This should not be this hard. I should probably practice stopping. Hey, if you enjoy this type of adventure content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future content. Parallel. Bow your feet up. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Gotta use the edges. It's gonna take me a very long time to get down this hill. 
shit. I'm pizzaing, but nothing is happening. That kind of hurt. Pizza, 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 pizza. God damn it. Ow, ow. Come on. Pizza, 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 pizza. Oh my god, I survived. My knees are intact. I think it wasn't pretty. How the hell do you take these off? The old van. Well, that wasn't too bad of an outing. I guess I expected just to get on there and be able to do skis super easy. Everyone says skiing, learning skiing is a lot harder, or a lot easier than learning snowboarding. So I was just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go and do this. But it was definitely a little harder than I anticipated, but I'm glad I got one run in today. I'm gonna be here all weekend, probably mostly snowboarding, but some friends are coming up tomorrow. And I think right now I'm gonna head to Mammoth Brewing Company to uh, see what that's all about because I haven't been there, so. Let's go scope out some craft beer. I can get down with Mammoth Brewing Company. I just had the Nut Brown, I only had one beer. I thought about getting a flight and trying them all, but was really feeling just like a nice dark beer since it's so cold out. Would recommend, and their mac and cheese, oh, so good. I'm on this mac and cheese kick, I don't know. The last video in Bishop I got mac and cheese, it was really good too. But I'm gonna try and find a new camp spot tonight very unsure as to whether or not it's going to be open like the road's going to be open they're probably there's probably going to be a lot of snow but it's worth a shot to check out it's only a few minutes away so let's go check that out and if not we'll just default to where i've stayed before in mammoth near the hot springs I managed to score the spot. 
and it's really, really close to Mammoth, like three miles away from it. And it's sort of at the start of this forest road. The forest road itself is not plowed. I'll have to show you guys in the morning. It's pitch black now, obviously, but this forest road itself is not plowed, but like the beginning is. So I'm just parked right here. And hopefully it's not a big issue and I don't have any park rangers coming by. And hopefully there's not too many cars that whiz by in the middle of the night, but I don't think there really will be. So I will catch you guys in the morning where I will show you more of the setting. Good night. Bit of a cold night last night out here. I will turn the van on and see what the temperature is, but pretty sure it got pretty cold, but nice and warm with this heater. God, thank God for these diesel heaters. But I'm not gonna do too much getting ready here. I think the power move is to just drive directly to the resort when you wake up. So you get a primo parking spot and then you kind of just take your time getting ready there. So let's uh, hit the road. That mogul hurt a little bit. All right, this is the best idea I've had. Check this out. 
chicken noodle soup crock pot cooking. Smell this, dude. It's so good. Oh, yes. Noodles action. This is what I associate with Saratoga Springs. What's Saratoga the Performing Arts Center? Oh. Yeah. Such a good day on the mountain. No one got hurt, which to me is most important. And we had fun. The conditions weren't great, but it was still a really good day to get out there. Super sunny. It's pretty cold now. It's getting icy out there, we're calling it. We're gonna go get some brews. Alright, we're back at the BLM land. You guys probably can't see me. It's dark as hell. I wish you could see these stars. It's fucking incredible out here. But let me take you inside the rig. This is my cozy little cocoon. I've got the diesel heater firing away and I'm super tired. We're going to wake up early tomorrow because there's like a Icon Pass early entry at 7.30 a.m. and they're supposed to have breakfast, so I'm all about free breakfast. Catch you guys in the morning. So every morning I wake up when it's super cold, I don't know if you can see the windshield, it gets frosted but it's on the inside not the outside and it takes forever for this diesel to kind of get warm unless you're moving and you obviously can't drive if you can't see out of the window. So this is what I've resorted to, I have like a scratcher, I got my, my towel down there to catch any of the... of the frost but not ideal if you guys have solutions leave them in the comment below here we go look at that sky orange to green to blue it's beautiful
not even 17. And the lot is already packed. Yesterday I got here around the same time there was maybe a third of the amount of people. So definitely something's going on this morning for this early morning sesh. And it'll be cool to be the first people on the mountain and get some free food. This breakfast was so money. Apparently they do it once a month, so if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Three. Thank you. <laughs> That's it for this Mammoth trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got you a little more of an in-depth look into what goes on here at Mammoth. And I tried skis. Hopefully, I'll be more proficient next time and get more practice in. But uh, yeah, if you got it, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.